This video is sponsored by Seed Studio. Hey guys, Max here, back again with another Arduino-based project. This time we'll be partnering with Seed Studio, and I got one of their kits over here, the Grove Beginner Kit, an Arduino-compatible all-in-one sensors kit, which also contains its own Seeduino microcontroller. We're gonna take a quick look at this kit and see what it's about, then we're gonna make our own Arduino-based mini digital weather station using some of the sensors from this kit. All right, let's take a closer look at the kit they sent me. Just before we take an even closer look at the Grove Beginner Kit, Seed Studio also has one of the smallest Arduino compatible microcontrollers out there, the Seeduino Xiao. It's got a USB Type-C port and the Xiao can come in quite handy for really small projects. Back to the Grove Beginner Kit. Opening up the box, you'll see it has six of these easy module connector cables, a USB to micro USB cable, and the Grove Beginner Kit board itself. It's a plug in and play kind of setup. It's already pre programmed so you can test all of these functions in advance. On the little OLED screen, you get to see data displayed from all five sensors. What we'll be taking from this kit is the temperature and humidity sensor, barometer sensor, OLED display screen, and the Seeduino Lotus microcontroller. That means we will be breaking them out of the board and using the Grove jumper cables to connect them up. I just thought I'd add one more sensor to the weather station just to spice things up, a homemade rain sensor. The main module itself has a comparator chip, and the other panel you saw is what actually comes in contact with water. Not including the outer casing, here's everything you'll need to make the weather station, which will use these three as its main sensors. The barometer sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, and rain sensor. Let's hook everything up to the Seeduino Lotus. Connect the mini OLED screen to one of the I2C ports and then the barometer sensor to another I2C port. The temperature humidity sensor to port D3. Through three jumper wires, connect your rain sensor to the board. And last, hook up the buzzer. The next step will be coding for the weather station. Here's the mini Arduino weather station code. Be sure to include all the necessary libraries. Check that you have the right font for your OLED screen. You may need to change it out for a smaller or a bigger font. Also with these values, you can adjust the line spacing. Each individual line displays its own sensor data. Before uploading, check that you have Arduino Uno selected as your board and select your COM port. Right after uploading to the board, the OLED screen should light up displaying the sensor's data. If you see any of these lines overlapping, then you'll have to go back to the code and adjust the cursor value for that specific overlapping line. By pushing really hard onto the sensor or short-circuiting it with a raindrop, you can see that the alarm goes off. The displayed temperature comes from the barometer sensor, humidity from the DHT11 sensor, air pressure from the barometer sensor, and this analog value from the rain sensor. Hook up your battery to these pins on the board where it says VCC and ground. I actually made the rain sensor onto a breadboard before I made it into a perforated board just to test that the comparator circuit works. If you're also going to make this project, then it's better to just buy a pre-made rain sensor module. Before fitting all of the electronics into this plastic box, we'll have to re-solder the connectors so they point inwards. That way the modules can sit up flat against the plastic. Also, don't forget to add an on-off switch to your circuit. To organize the jumper cables and wires a little, use the included rubber bands from the Seeduino Grove Kit and tie them together in a bundle. Next, it's time to cut out some spaces where the modules will be sitting. 
During cutting, I accidentally split the box down the front. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. After fitting all of the electronics in and fastening the modules with screws, it looks pretty good. Though I do believe one more thing can be added for the rain sensor is this little ball joint that holds it and allows you to tilt the rain sensor around. You can unclip or clip on the panel whenever you want. In order to protect the screen from scratches and some weathering, get it? I slid a small thin plastic sheet in front of it. Last, I added an additional plastic bottom for the weather station. So since I will be using this weather station quite a bit, I decided to make a proper mount, sort of like a mini shelf that holds this weather station in place on the wall, with a couple of extension wires for the rain sensor panel to sit outside. Since the rain usually hits this window, there's a high chance that it'll detect even the smallest droplet. So that's about it for this video guys. You saw only one really cool project which you can make from the Grove Beginner Kit by Seed Studio. The mini digital weather station turned out really mini, quite compact and uh, lightweight and all. It's got four different sensing functions which is pretty impressive for something its own size. Do consider checking out Seed Studio and buying one of their kits or one of their cool little microcontroller modules like the one you saw earlier at the Seeduino Shao. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Subscribing. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace